everyone, Blue Bear here, and welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. We finally got for episode one, which is actually quite a long episode, but I've been told episodes two and three isn't as long as the first one, but we'll see. So episode two is called Brave New World. Let's begin. Previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm going to teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead. Get the fuck out of here. Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. Chloe, do something. Hey, do you know if Rachel is a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. <laughs> and that woman was definitely not my mom. Okay. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. was violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Uh, don't screw up. Uh, don't get in trouble again. Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Prescott. <laughs> the hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know. The guy who actually did what you're accusing me of? Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Convenient. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? I'm beginning to suspect that myself. I am sorry you feel that way, but your daughter's misbehavior is real and serious. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. 
What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. To Miss Price. She's coming out of trouble. Fine, yes. It was her idea. But it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Uh, yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you, or... Coerce her? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why someone like Rachel... Oh, I think we're clear, Principal Wells. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. Excuse me? Do you have a list of students you assume the worst about? Uh, yep. Go, Mom. You have no right to treat Chloe this way. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> I get it. This is about Blackwell's money troubles. Will you be dragging every other scholarship student into your office today as well? Damn. Let's all just calm down. After everything we've... She's been through in the last two years. You should be ashamed of yourself. Miss Price. Mrs. Price. Mrs. Price. I appreciate yeah. your position, but I assure you, it is only your daughter's past behavior that has led us here today. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, <sighs> Excuse I hope me if you you'll allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. Getting agitated this being by the interruptions first during my recording. No way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. Aww. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of the Tempest. No. <sighs> But the performance is tonight. For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is what such... was that, Miss Price? <sighs> Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Uh. Hmm. 
Okay. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe! <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was a little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. She's accepted her responsibility. Except reality. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? Hmm. Duh, confess she can act. I confess to thinking she can act like a motherfucker. You just bought her crap. Hook, line, and sinker. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really? Nope. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not one of your sycophants. I'm a lone wolf, and you're a little Red Riding Hood. Welcome to Grandmother's house, bitch. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Nope. Sorry for making you look bad. Fine. Mr. Wells, I'm sorry for exposing the flaws in your campus security. This must be very embarrassing for you. I've heard enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not be removed from the play. Was that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year. Uh -uh. With a chance for reinstatement in the fall. That's not gonna happen, right? And now? You are expelled. What? No. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Right. I didn't want to take the uh, blame for me. Come on, Chloe. She's too nice. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price? I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me, eh, Skip? You know I was supposed to have today off, right? Sorry that my totally fair and impartial hearing inconvenienced you, man. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll take... I'll sign this. And then I'll uh, look at my website. Trusty Pen keeper of my graffiti pens. Pencil You've key. served me well. Take my chemistry book. Oh, no, okay, we're binning it. Oh, awesome. Trash. Uh, trash the English book. Trash everything. 
I guess. Jackpot. Wait. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. Corey, hello, had to borrow your stash. Desperate times, you know. I promise I'll get you back next week, Justin. Uh-huh. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me... Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? Oh, I remember this bathroom. Are we gonna trash it? Yeah, let's do it. You would have thought by now the uh, security guard would be like, you're taking a long time. For a long time to do all that graffiti, surely. then later skip later Looks like David's here. Wow, blows that meeting hella sucked. Yeah, you're hella weird. You are. Seriously, it's okay. Yesterday was worth it. Chloe can't keep doing this to me. I am trying my best. Elliot. Hey, after Tempest, you want to hang out? Yeah, for God's sake. Arcadia Bay Forest Watch. Active Class D Wildfire Noctage. Use caution. Check local media for road closures. Please utilize caution while traveling to and from campus. Facility and staff have been asked to waive punctuality requirements for all sports and blah blah blah. Awesome. What is this on the floor? Max would have loved this shit. What is it? The future needs excellence. Okay. I think... I think I need to go over here first. Hello. Hey, Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I was expelled. Wait, really? Holy shit! I know. I'm surprised it took this long, too. Do you want a hug? Mm. 
Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, good hug. Thanks. Was Rachel Amber involved? Yeah. And let me guess, did she get off scot-free? Well, yeah. But she tried to cover for me. Uh-huh. Anyway, what are you doing here? I thought I should come early to grab tickets. For the Tempest? You said we might see it together. Uh. Oh, right. Good call. Did you get my text? About hanging out afterwards? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm not really big on making plans. But maybe. Cool, cool. Uh, sounds, sounds good. I better go. My mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. Her boyfriend. It, don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Yeah. Oh, wait, we go. Later. Well, he doesn't really have a right to tell you off, to be fair. He's not your dad. It's about damn time. David, please. Can I help you? Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Don't really care about what you have to say. Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead oh, of fighting me about sake. everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? How to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. You do not kicked out of school? Burning. That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Well, the Do mother you want to speaks. work at the diner? Someone needed my help. Who? Your friend Rachel? Because I think the daughter of the DA is going to be just fine. Hmm. I need your help. Me, your mother. We need to get our own house in order. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I don't want to fight. I care about your mother don't very fight much. Me. And you too. I'd like for us to start over. What do you say? Okay. Sure. Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear it. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. Seriously? What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe, and I'm sorry, but David feels- Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start fresh. <laughs> Let's go, Chloe. She Quit just listened stalling. to him. Okay, let's just do it. Fine. You want to see my shit so badly?
That's it. You know what sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy? Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? I forgive you. You were under a terrible influence. I just worry about you, but that's no excuse. Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. Oh, is he telling her what's in the out of you, David? Yeah. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. We need a new Somebody beginning. get the um, a new society, does it? One that will involve the three of us together. Well, He's telling her how to look after her daughter. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. <laughs> No. No fucking way. Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. Okay. Do I get an option? You're trying. I, I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. Mm. Don't want to upset the mother. No? Okay. There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Say at the minute, just Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. See what Rachel says. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Are we going to start hitting things again? Ugh. 
This thing is a mess. But maybe I can fix it. If this be... Okay. Chloe, David's trying to do what he thinks best. He's such a tool. I didn't like that he asked you to empty your pockets and then you come completely innocent. Chloe, wait a second. I'm trying to raid. Can't you just forget what they... About David for a second. Think about me. Maybe I just need space, okay? Maybe I need my daughter back. Eh... Uh, Beast will ever run again. The first thing it needs is a new battery. Wonder if I can find one around Get here. Get battery. Put in truck. Find a battery. On the hunt for a battery. Don't bat want to leave yet. Oh, go the wrong way. Okay. Let's have a look at the bus. I guess I'll never ride one of these again. That's nope. so awesome. Maybe not. Um, beach towel. Don't want that. No light bulb. I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, I got David. Fuck everything. Snakes are cool. I like snakes too. Here's a side of Arcadia Bay they don't put on the postcards. Ooh, this car actually looks nice. What are you trying to hide under there, Hood? Why don't you just somehow get the uh, thing off the tire and you can use that car because that car's pretty good condition. Here we go. The pick of the Except litter. the door is missing. Okay, we got a battery. Let's go back to the car then. I don't see how far she's going to get with this car though. Here we go. Get that in. Do you think that's gonna work? Use the screwdriver. Use the screwdriver. Damn. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Chloe Price. I don't suck. You really, really don't. My mum thinks I do. Don't know if I can stand going home tonight. Still there. Grabbing something from home, then I'll meet at the junkyard. See you literally. See you really soon. You better. Hmm. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. Or just get a new car entirely. I bet if I look, I can find something else to fix inside the truck. Okay, uh, oh, light bulb. Maybe there's another light bulb I can Oh, I put found a light bulb, didn't I? Anything else? Nope, okay. I could find a light bulb for sure. Okay. I know where there's one. Let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. 
I know I can find a light bulb, that's for certain. A sign. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. Light bulb, let's have that. You might not work. Then again, I hardly ever work. Do I have a try? So, light bulb. Oh, hang on, we got a towel. This could cover that torn seat and look awesome doing it. Okay, so we've got that for the seat. A shoe. What's in the shoe box? Okay. Let's let's put this in the car. <laughs> right. Radio. It's all fun and games till this guy enslaves everyone. I oh we are look let's prop this pallet up and we can probably get onto the boat and find something else I guess. There we go. Now we can climb. Still going, in it? Hood. Hood, graffiti. What do I want to tell my fellow sailors of the seven trash heaps? Buried treasure. Got it. I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. I'm just trying to sort this car out. Oh, we got a trophy for doing that. Okay. Journal. Um, can I climb this cabin? Oh, this is just her thinking place. Okay. Well. Uh. I haven't seen anything else to cover, like, the hole in the floor. This is all I came up here to do. Okay. I thought there would have been something up there, but apparently not. as a consequence you can hang here but I get to pick the tunes okay good talk I don't know what. Oh, <gasps> welcome mat. I found a welcome mat. You should cover that life-endangering floor hole quite nicely. That's it. I'm done. Okay, I've finished sprucing up the car.
This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? Let me guess, is it your mom? Yeah. Frank, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? Price. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard, that's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And, Frank? Burner phone? Everything cool? I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> like, in general? Or to you? I'll see you soon. You seem quite nice on the phone at the minute. Weirdly nice. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. Or in my case, now I'm going to end the episode here. So, thank you all for watching. If you like, you can follow me on Facebook or my second channel, which have both been in the description below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!